So let me get this right. You telling me after everything we went through in this country with this Jim Crow, slavery, all this shit, lynching and shit, and you tell me we back to the same old shit It's 2020, and you telling me that y'all lynching niggas now and mainstream media, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, scared to report the lynching, doing the George Floyd in the Mont Aubrey case. You mean to tell me the sister just got killed up here in Kentucky, got shot eight times where he sent her man to jail, he got out. So you mean to tell me y'all back to lynching motherfuckers? I mean, if a motherfucker really want that mess, that race war type shit, you motherfuckers, you know, for, forecasting if you really want that shit, you know, I'm from the hood. In that era, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no young motherfucker. I'm from that era where I got down with these. And then when I got into the dope game later on in the streets, I started popping these after I got popped. You know what I'm saying? But if you really want that mess, meet me halfway or some niggas halfway. We can don't pick out the old lady or the little skinny black guy that's walking by itself down the streets or a motherfucking brother jogging through the motherfucking hood, if you really want this war, let's clash up, you know what I'm saying, you know, let's clash up, you really want this war, you know what I'm saying, my name is motherfucking Soldier C, you know what I mean, I ain't never been no bitch, I ain't never been no hoe, you know what I'm saying, I don't go around fucking with nobody, I don't fuck with white folks, when I was doing time in the joint, they had the Aryan Brotherhood out here, man, in Ohio, man. Anybody know me the dead time? I didn't bow down on them bitches in the joint. You know what I'm saying? I slayed one of them motherfuckers in the motherfucking joint. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker try to run up in my cell on the hit. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading that shock Zulu type shit, though. Prepared, nigga, for woe. You know what I'm saying? That's all I did. Kept my head in them books. You know what I'm saying? Read about Hannibal the Great. I embody Hannibal the Great. I, I thought I was Hannibal the Great. You know what I'm saying? So, every black man ain't no bitch and ain't no hoe. Y'all picking, y'all picking shots. If you really want that mess, I'm right here. I ain't, I ain't in no gang. They, they, they gang members. You know, what I'm saying I love some of them. I know some of them brothers. They get down for theirs in in the right circumstance. You know what I mean? For real. Everybody ain't no hoe, man. For real, man. Every black man ain't no hoe, man. Y'all better recognize, man. With that being said, if you white boys really want that mess, man, meet me halfway. Anytime, any day, nigga. Anytime, any day. Racist ass motherfuckers, man. After all these motherfucking years, you bitch motherfuckers still stuck on racism. Still stuck on racism. So that goes back to the to the ISIS papers, man. You know where Francis Caress Wells talk about the population of the black nation. If this is why the white man acts the way that he acts, he has to control the black man's sperm, making sure he don't outpopulate. The white man because the white man is a stink on our planet could this all be a genetic survival technique everything that's going on in the world and been going on in the world for years because the people who study the scientists of genetics know that the melanin in our skin will outpopulate if we're allowed to just uh, live our lives live our life without being interrupted That's why so many black men in the penitentiary. Think, think about it. If I if I haven't, if I had never went to the joint and did all the time that I did in the penitentiary, there's no doubt I have more kids. I only got one daughter and I got grandkids. You know, I'm blessed for that. You know, I leave a part of me here when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? But 
You know, I did 24 years in and out the penitentiary chasing the fast dollar. You know what I'm saying? And I want to clarify something too. Because uh, in my last video, I said that Willie Lynch or the William Lynch character, 1712, who came from South America, I meant he came from the West Indies. I don't want to lie on this channel. I just started this channel, so I don't want to tell no lies. We want to become right and exact with our facts when we speak. You know what I mean? Other than that, man, um, it's wartime, man. It's on the flow, man. You know, everybody can march, and y'all hope these white people will reform police. Rich people is not going to take the strength from the police department. Rich people fear poor people. That's brother black, Puerto Rican, whatever color you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Poor whites, they fear poor whites. You know, will, 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 will come rob the rich or black people come rob the rich. So the rich is for police. That's their protection. They got a little money, you know what I mean? So I can't see them reforming the police. Maybe, the, maybe they should get rid of that chokehold. See, because that chokehold kills a lot of innocent people. And people not going to stand for that no more. So I, I suggest them to get rid of that chokehold. We living in a new day and time. Nobody's not going to sit back and watch our people keep being brutally killed. You know what I'm saying? Something's going to happen. You know, we at that boiling point. You know what I'm saying? And I never thought that I live in this time. I read a lot of books. How this type of stuff was going to jump off. I read books by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who uh, wrote a book called The Fall of America, you know, where he talks about, you know, the, uh, the dollar, you know, because the dollar used to be, you know, worth more than what it is, like seven notes when it was backed by gold and silver. Now it's, it's not backed by gold and silver anymore. So it's not the dollar won't be worth nothing anymore. But anyway, he said that was the first time, the first sign. A fall of America when when the when the when the dollar you know fell, you know what I mean. So, with that being said, uh, I never thought I'd live in this time to see this kind of stuff jumping off with the coronavirus, which I've been reading for many many years that the American government itself has patent biological weapons that they have used up on people, and I have read about this COVID-19 way before it even came out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, people call me a conspiracy theorist, but I, I do believe in uh, that there's a conspiracy against the black gene, you know, the black people. And as long as the white, the white scientists and white people know that we can outpopulate them on this planet, we're gonna have a problem where they try to get rid of us, you know. So, so it's no surprise to me, you know, how brothers and sisters are being lynched around this country because the white man is at the end of his time to rule up on this planet. So he must act the way he's acting, you know. Said, but we don't have to set back as a people and take it. All we gotta do is link up, man. That is the key. The honorable Elijah Muhammad spoke on our unity would get rid of racism overnight you know what i'm saying and uh you know i'm not going around preaching hate but i'm not going to sit back either and let my people be annihilated whatever some trouble at you know with these people trying to come annihilate us you know what I'm saying? we must respond you know we must respond all that preaching crying and marching, that's over with, man. You know what I'm saying? When they come for me, Nick, I'm going to be ready to go. You know, you better be ready to go. I'm telling you. All these YouTubers, all these guys up on YouTube, they know that they're in trouble. You spoke out against this this system, you in trouble. They, when they come, you better be ready to fight. Some people trying to save face, trying to say Donald Trump is not part of deep state. If Donald Trump is with Deep State in a sense, he know, just like you know, just like if I'm in a gang and I know this other, this other set of different type of people exist. For instance, if I'm a vice lord, 
I know a gangster disciple exists. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, we from the street. We basically do the same thing. We just from different sets. So you got deep state, and you got a Nazi in the government. Trump, his people are people like poor whites, radical whites. They got little money and rich whites, you know, who feel that black people, you know, should be annihilated. And same way with the Democrats. The Democrats feel the same way that we should be annihilated. What a motherfucker should do as a people is separate from these people. Marcus Garvey says separate. Honorable Elijah Muhammad says separate. Separate from these people. Separate or die. Farrakhan say separate or die. You know, we need a state and city of our own where we can police our own, you know, govern our own, our own banks, our own barbershops. You know, we need our own shit. We need to separate from this government because Malcolm X said, Malcolm X said in the 60s, Malcolm X said, that there's no justice and freedom and equality in a white man's government. And those truths hold value today. You know, white people's behavior attests to what Malcolm X said back in the day. People cannot argue with that. I mean, if you want to, that's on you. I'm just looking at things realistically how it is. You know what I'm saying? But... Back to what I was saying at the beginning of this video. If you really want a race war, white boy, come to where the niggas at. Come where we at. Come over to the hood. See, I'm from the hood. And I came from an era when you had to get down with these. You know, this all we got. I had, when I moved to the neighborhood that I moved to, when I came from Illinois to Ohio, there was a bully that I had to fight every day. Me and him fought like Ali and Sprazier, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you're going to get respect, man, is fight back by any means necessary. I'm not telling people to go out there and 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 create violence on white people or police or black on black crime. I'm saying when it comes to you, you got to take care of you, man. When they come, who going to take care of them sisters, these racists and, and black people? You, 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 you. I'm talking to you. Stop killing us. What do we, I mean, listen, they're already killing us. They're already knocking us off. We got to stop. Black Lives Matters is got to be backed by this guy named George Soros, Soros, whatever his name is, because Black Lives Matters never show up when black people kill black people. When we, when we commit genocide upon each other, where's this Black Lives Matter group at? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we need that type of group, you know what I'm saying? But the protesters and the rioters are different groups of people. You got Antifa there. That's a fraction of some white, su white supremacy group. You got people, police out there participate in the riots. So, so what I'm what I'm thinking is that white people are trying to bring on what they call um, martial law, you know? So what we should do as a people, we need to go home, man, and regroup, man, and ready for the real war that's about to come because these people are not just going to easily like, okay, we're going to change these laws. Um, people protesting around the world, they always going to find a way to put some icing on some shit. You know what I'm saying? You gonna put icing on the motherfucker and give you that cake, and in the middle of that cake, you know what's gonna be? You got icing on the top. You gonna get that shit, a shit cake. That's what the fuck they gonna give us, man. I'm telling you, man. Us just protesting to really wanna, you know, be free. We need to go home and link up with your neighbor and link up with him. But you gotta keep them stool pigeons away. You gotta look up, link up with her, link up with this sister. And you got to form you like a government. And y'all got to put your head together. Y'all trying to get somebody in, in office. Don't let your vote, man, go waste.
go to waste before you vote. Give a motherfucker a contract. And this is what the fuck black people want. This is what we demand if we give you this vote. But niggas ain't gonna do that. They think voting gonna change our situation. How long we been voting? How, how many of us died to vote? I don't give a fuck about my ancestors who fought and died to vote because a vote don't mean shit. Republicans don't mean shit. Democrats don't mean shit. I'm trying to figure out when the last time Republicans did something systematically to try to change something for black people in this country. How come we don't have the type of shit that the suburbs have? If you really try to do something for black people, that's why I say, man, it's a trick. It's a trick, man. If y'all really want this war, if y'all really want this war, come bring it. Because I'm tired of waiting, man. All this trick with the coronavirus. Now, all of a sudden, they got a new strain of coronavirus that was hitting Europeans. When the virus was killing Europeans, all up through uh, 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 Italy, who y'all think there? When they was killing all them people up in Iran and different parts of the UK, it wasn't even doing nothing to black people. So now, the strain of the disease now attacking Africans. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching the chart when it was wasn't even in Africa. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even in Africa. Then all of a sudden, I'm watching it. Nobody reported it as a European or white Caucasian disease when the disease, when the disease first popped off. If y'all paid attention, like me, I pay attention. Caucasian people were dying quicker from the disease than black people. Why some black people like, you don't know what he's talking about. He got amnesia. But if you look at the chart in Africa, I paid, a, paid attention to it. It wasn't doing nothing in Africa. Wasn't doing nothing to black people over here. Then all of a sudden, it made like a 360 backwards. It started attacking us. You know what I mean? So if y'all don't believe that coronavirus made in the laboratory, you're a goddamn fool. You think you're going to eat a bat over in motherfucking China and this, this motherfucker who ate the bat got got Corona, then Corona went to that nigga and this motherfucker, come on, man. This shit ain't never been airborne. So it's got to be a new strain. My dog want to go out. Hold up. Come on, boy. Let's go. You want to go out too? I got two of these motherfuckers. You want to go out too? You want to go outside? Come on. Come on. Come on, man. You want to stay here? Get your ass up. Well, leave me alone. Yeah, back. Back to what I was saying, though. Yeah, if motherfucker really want war, quit picking motherfuckers to try to set shit off. You know what I'm saying? I believe, I may be wrong, I think George Floyd was a sacrifice to test niggas and see where our nuts was gonna be at. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. If some of us land in the cut, you don't see us on TV, you don't see us protesting, we ready to fuck something up. So I'm telling my real brothers and my real sisters out there on the front line that's putting in work, I love y'all, man. Y'all the new people, man, y'all the new movement. And these some young sisters and brothers I'm seeing. Motherfuckers can't talk about the young because I don't, and then these gang bangers, they not dumb. Everybody like, where the Crips? Where the Bloods? I was saying that at first, but I know they think. You know, I did time in the pen, bro. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of motherfucking Crips and a lot of Bloods. Motherfuckers liked it. They took a liking to me because they said I was a soldier. I, you know, I ran, you know, by myself and shit. They knew I was on that black study. You know what I mean? But uh, and I got a chance to converse with some of them brothers, man. Them, some of them brothers intelligent, man. You know what I'm saying? Blood speaking in Swahili. That's one of our motherfucking languages for the motherland. You know what I mean? I met some real Crip brothers that was generals, man. That put in work, you know what I'm saying, against them races when I was down there in the penitentiary that I was in. You know what I mean? So, you know, Nipsey Hussle was a Crip. But that brother had a nice mind, man. So, don't get it twisted that you don't see us out there on the front line 
putting in work that we some type of hoes. We just know what time it is. Prepare yourself, you know, because this country is not going to change. White folks will never change. You can pray for them if you want to. You can keep praying for your enemy and think they're going to, you know, give a fuck about you. Here's a man that was on the motherfucking ground with a fucking knee in his motherfucking neck telling the man that he can't breathe, cutting the man's nose up, his face up on the concrete. You know what I'm saying? There's another thing I paid attention. When you go back and look at that video, look at the urine and the feces, you know what I'm saying? Because you know when the motherfucker die, you know, the bowels and everything let go. You can see the water, the, the piss line running from up under the fucking car. Go back and look at the video. See, a lot of motherfuckers didn't pay attention to that type of shit. When, when the cop had his knee on George Floyd's neck. You feel me? But back to what I was saying, though, if a motherfucker really want that mess, come on, man. We tired of waiting. You want to pick a motherfucker out of been lynching, motherfucker. See, <clears throat> mainstream media, they don't want to report that type shit. You know, they talking about this this uh, this this police reform bill. At the same time, they dialoguing about that. A motherfucker got lynched out there in California. Two people. You know what I mean? And I, and I keep reading stories where black people still being attacked by white people. You know what I mean? So it's up to us. You know, we the only ones can save us. You know, you can stay over there and hate your brother cause he a crip and you can hate your brother cause he a Christian or you can hate your brother and your sister cause he's a, she's a Muslim. She a crackhead and he a dope dealer and she ain't nothing. She's a hoe. He ain't nothing. Come on, man. We can pull all them little petty differences aside, man. For real, man. And then time for tribal warfare. You know, these motherfuckers, these Trump supporters, I'm going to tell you, they are retarded. Have you ever seen these Trump supporters? They're like up under some type of mind control, especially the black Trump supporters. Them niggas is robots. You can't tell me them niggas ain't zombies. They sound like a motherfucking... Uh, a program, uh, what's that shit y'all call it? Alexis? I swear to God, it's like talking to Alexis, like this motherfucker just been programmed to say the same rhetoric over and over and over, like Kansas Owens. Who gave her the authority to speak for black people? This bitch don't speak for us. That bitch don't speak for us. It's my, we my words be goddamn it. Talking to motherfucking Hitler, his motherfucking self. You know what I mean? This bitch don't speak for us. This bitch want all the blacks, no matter what, to vote Republican to keep Trump in office. I don't give a fuck who win that office. Shit ain't gonna change for black people. Shit ain't gonna change for black people until we change the condition of ourselves. We gotta cut the machine off. No more. No more. We gotta get our own state. We got to get our own land. Some of us got to go back to Africa with our skills and build Africa up. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got to, we got to, we got to, we got to go war time, man. Strategic war. We got to think like warriors, bro. You know, all these motherfuckers out here talking about Trump ain't no racist. Trump is not no saver for no black people. Young Pharaoh, you keep talking about Trump. Ain't deep state. Trump ain't for black people, man. Trump is racist. He said when the looting start, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck you think they gonna be shooting? Trump is a white man. He understands genetics, survival. Every motherfucking president and every racist elite motherfucker know about genetic survival. Why the fuck? They gonna give us some type of leeway to out procreate them. They not gonna do that. That's why they gave us a Bible. They gave us a Bible, like Ice Cube said back in the day. The devil gave the devil made you a slave and gave you a Bible. Four hundred years of getting our ass kicked, but so called Christians and Catholics. Now that's what's going on. That's what's going on. The fucking religion. Stop niggas 
from uniting. Well, I'm a Muslim. I'm not unite with no Christians. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm a Christian. You know, he's a Muslim. He's a terrorist. You know what I'm saying? Stupid shit. Stupid shit. And I heard this nigga, Young Pharaoh, he put fucking Trump up here and put Honorable Louis Farrakhan, who been fighting 60 years for black people. You know what I'm saying? 60 years for black people. And the only thing y'all got to say, that old lie that the Jews created in the 80s when the Honorable Louis Farrakhan started to build a nation of Islam back up. You got to notice how the Jews had these niggas coming out saying that Farrakhan killed Malcolm X. Well, Farrakhan name wasn't even named Farrakhan in that day. You know what I'm saying? That started, Farrakhan name was never mentioned back in the 60s when it happened. It said the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had it done. You know what I'm saying? But come to find out that Dick Gregory video, Dick Gregory got a video out where he exposed the government who had holes at the top of the motherfucking ballroom with an FBI, um, what do you say, rented the ballroom uh, a, maybe a week or a couple days before they knew Malcolm because they had Malcolm under surveillance. They knew Malcolm was going to the ballroom and they, they the government had holes with motherfucking um, guns shooting down at Malcolm. The autopsy show the bullets came down and the niggas that was in the motherfucking audience had fucking cap guns. They didn't even trust those niggas to even kill Malcolm. And then the, one, the two motherfuckers that they arrested wasn't even there in the goddamn motherfucking ballroom. Only the one nigga that, that's, that's still in jail is the one nigga that was in the ballroom. So somewhere the government was involved. You know what I'm saying? Every black organization has been uh, infiltrated by the CIA. So to sit around and say that Farrakhan killed Malcolm, we don't fucking know. Because the fucking government always keep that wrath going. If they know you beefing, they was writing Malcolm a letter, signed uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they would write Honorable Elijah Muhammad a letter. You know what I'm saying? Sign Malcolm Disson. The government was, was in the middle making sure that it'd be some riff because they, they fear black power. So don't talk about Farrakhan, Hassan Campbell. You ain't talked about the Orthodox Muslims, how they enslaved blacks using the Holy Quran. Huh? How they marry girls at nine years old old ass men. So if we can uphold Farrakhan and shoot that black man down, we could we could do that too to your religion. You believe in Islam, Hassan Campbell. What's up with the Orthodox using Islam to enslave my brothers and sisters? You feel me? But them niggas don't want no war. I'm telling you, the old Trump supporters, if we really want a nigga, Bring your bitch ass over to the hood. See, I'm from the hood. I was taught to get down from my manhood from my motherfucking generation. I grew up in the 70s and the 80s. You know what I'm saying? I'm a 60 motherfucking baby. You know? All this shit that's going around to me is foreign because I'm coming up in high school. Any of them races and shit, we whooping their ass. We whooping their ass, so... I ain't got time for no marching and crying and all that old bullshit. Something happened into my family. Something happened in my family. Yeah, eye for an eye, two for two, death for a death. You feel me? So if you really want it, every nigga, every every black man ain't no hoe. If you really want it, I'm from the street. I'm from the motherfucking street. So motherfuckers can get mad because I brung up their name and they talking about they won't smoke and all that old bullshit. Nigga, I'm geared for that. I want it. I'm serious. There's a motherfucking heart attack, nigga. And I'm out of here, man. I'm, I'm done. Just remember, motherfucker, the streets is watching. The streets is motherfucking watching.